So with the 21-22 season ending, the 22-23 season needs to stop. Every team needs a kit. So in today's video, I have decided to redesign every single Premier League team's kit. Uh, home kit, if this gets a certain amount of likes, I will probably do away kits because this is actually really fun to make. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Just want to say, um, you're probably wondering, oh, it's just nicked this from Thogden. Kind of, but I actually had this idea planned and Thogden released this video, which was slightly annoying, but uh, it was a good video from Thogden. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So, in alphabetical order, we've got the first promoted side. We have got AFC Bournemouth. It will pop up on screen somewhere. It might be in a corner. But this is AFC Bournemouth. Very traditional. Got the got. I'm just so I can see all of it. Um, you've got the very you very traditional. You've got red and black stripes. Uh, you've got a blue a blue a white umbro uh, sponsor, and it's just very traditional. Uh, I don't think you can go really wrong with red and white stripes. Um, it's a pleasure to see Bournemouth back in the Premier League. I think I think they're a nice team. But yeah, very simple, not much to say about that one. The next team, alphabetically, is Arsenal. My word, this is one of my favourite kits that I've made this season. Andy, that's always do a good uh, job. But I think stripes, it's not what Arsenal usually go for. But I think it really looks really nice. I think the way it fades up is really, really good. And it's just a, overall a really class kit. If you were an Arsenal fan, um, I would, mate, I would be very jealous because this is a great kit you've got the classic adidas sleeves like up here um but yeah it's just a very very classic kit red for arsenal um also i know a little fact i nearly made this red shorts but i googled it and they haven't played in red shorts for like ever the only time they wore it was one i think it was against like west brom when that when their kit clashed so they had to wear red shorts but yeah they don't wear red shorts so I changed that last minute. But yeah, I really do like this kit. Cheers, Jeff. Next team is Aston Villa. Uh, I love Kappa as a sponsor. This kit is, again, on the simplistic side. I mean, their kit this season is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice kit. I like how it kind of like the shirt almost like rips open, which is a really class touch, if I don't say so myself. White, um, sorry, blue socks, claret, claret shorts. It's, claret and blue is a really nice colorway. Um, but yeah, there's not, again, it's a very simple simple kit. I can't really say much more about it. I know Brentford have decided to keep the same home kit for this season as they did last season, which I think is a really good idea for recycling reasons and stuff like that. But I've decided to make themselves a new kit. You've got, with this one, you've obviously got the traditional red and white stripes. But that if you if you look at the stripes, they're kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're, they're not full stripes. They're kind of like fading, which is a really nice touch. Again, if I don't say so myself. Uh, you've got Umbro. I really don't like the sponsor, but obviously I can't do much about that because uh, that's the sponsor. Red socks could probably change those for white, but yeah, I really, really do like this kit. So the next kit concept is my team, Brighton and Hove Albion. Not stripes, believe it or not. Yeah, not stripes. Um, not even sure if we'll have Nike this season. Our kit's yet to release, but. It's kind of like zigzags, and I made this one ages ago before I actually thought of this video. So um, it's maybe I could have made it a bit better with the Nike pattern, but I do. I, I really like this kit. I think it would be a really nice touch um, if we actually made this kit. But realistically, we're just gonna do stripes, and it's as simple as that. We're also always gonna do for like the gold, the gold ticks, the gold Nike ticks, if we even are with Nike this season. Uh, but yeah, uh, at the end of the day, it's a really nice kit. But the next kit is Chelsea. Um, I don't know if they'll have the three as their sponsor, um, with obviously all the Russian things, but I've, it's a very simplistic kit. Uh, it's just literally got a little smoke pattern here. So I think there's not really much I can say. I'm just looking around it, by the way, on the actual computer. But yeah, it's, it's a very simple kit, and I, I personally like it a lot. I think you can't go wrong with a simple kit. And again, I don't know what sponsor it's going to have. So, um, yeah, don't judge me for that one. So next is the team I would not like to name. Palace. Oops, sorry I said it. Um, it pains me to say it. I was going to make like a brown kit and just give it a poo emoji. But no, instead I actually made a decent kit and I like it. I like it. I think you can. there's little kind of like 
transparent stripes but you've got the main two stripes down the middle very inspired by their away kit this season which i don't like by the way because it just looks really uneven if they made that two stripes then i think it would look really good on it pays me to say it but yeah it's a very simple kit red and blue horrible but you know we'll move on let's let's get away from this so everton next hummel sponsor i love hummel would love that to be on the uh, kit sponsor but you've got the little chevrons and the sle sleeves but the main thing not very much to it but it's just a nice fade into white which is very simplest it's clark it's classy it suits everton really really well kazoo i think they're having that sponsor this season um but yeah just a very very simple kit and very classy just like everton the second of the newly promoted team we have got fulham i mean realistically they're gonna probably go down right and we'll that'll pay me in Brighton will probably go down but this kit I like a lot black and white simple but effective you've got a nice little um nice little kind of like I don't know what to call it like a little line pattern going down here and to be honest with you um it was originally white sleeves I changed that to black um but yeah there's not much going on with this kit and it's very very simple black and white suits full of perfectly I feel bad for Leeds um, with their kits the past few seasons. They've been very, very simplistic. Uh, I don't really like Leeds, but obviously teams will want to have a nice kit. This kit I like a lot. as like some little little stripe patterns. Like, just very, very slightly you can see it. But I do like that about it. I don't really like the fact they go for, like, yellow. Like, yellow here. So I just changed that to navy blue. Um, to be honest, they obviously probably do yellow because of the badge. But they do do it because of the badge. But... I think this kit's classy but simple and that really really doesn't really suit Leeds but it's really really nice. This kit is Leicester's and I could just imagine what this kit would be like without the sponsor. If they just had King Power this kit would be so nice. Uh, obviously you've got the pattern it kind of does look like you spilled something down you but I like that. I like it. I think it's nice. Um, I think it's actually the same like template as last season but I added a slight di little design to it. Uh, the collar, I like the collar, I think that looks really nice and classy, but uh, I think I've said classy about 18 times in this video. Um, but yeah, I, like, I do like that kit very, very much. I like Leicester as a team, I think their togetherness is really good, and no one hates Leicester, to be totally honest with you. So I honestly don't know if Liverpool can have the Jordan logo, but I thought I'd just add it because it's a nice touch. You've got kind of, I think it was, what was the effect called? It was kind of, what was the effect called? It was called like, like a, I don't know what it was called. I'll, I'll check it. I'll tell you in the next clip. But you've got that effect. Um, but it was really, really, it's really nice. I mean, you've got white, classy, diagonal. Um, nothing too much going on. Just a nice little design to it. Obviously, you've got the standard chartered sponsor, which I think is a decent, decent sponsor. You've got the Jordan logo, which I love. PSG's Jordan stuff. Not this, not this season. That doesn't matter because I just love it in general. So yeah, if they make loads of training wear with this, you could just imagine the sales will go through the roof. So, City here. It's probably not as light blue as some fans would like. It's kind of like a cyan colour, which I like. Um, but it's it's a simple kit, but as if you can just about see it, I might have to zoom in on the actual edit, but you can see like little mosaic patterns in it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. I mean, maybe on another day I would have changed the colour to more light blue, but I like that type of cyan colour. I think it's something different. Don't like Puma, mainly just because of those horrible third si third kits they released last season. Um, but I think they could probably get a bigger sponsor, but they don't need it. It's, it's, they do they do all right kits. They can do good ones. Like, for example, the AC Milan fourth kit, I think it was this season, was really, really nice. But, like, for example, the third kits were horrible. But, yeah, it's a, it's a decent kit. It's nice. It's, as again, probably not as traditional as some fans would like it but i personally like it next we've got manchester united which i made a while ago because i was doing a little series thing that i like some fan some people on tiktok are requesting kits to do um so i made this one uh, you've got the shield badge you've got like little zigzag patterns in it not too obvious um but you've got a collar classy um shame they won't win anything in this and ronaldo's gonna leave but it's little gold touches as just just very very simple with a little little design so when i made this i was like oh that's a really really nice kit but now looking back at it i'm actually not too sure about it 
Maybe it's too like maybe it doesn't shouldn't go in the sleeves, but I'm not gonna change it because I made it for this video. Uh, I don't know what sponsor they'll have to be honest with you. I don't know if it'll be that sponsor, but yeah, I don't know. It's I don't think I like it. I'll, I think the the actual patterns are a bit a bit weird. Maybe I should just change it to traditional traditional stripes. <laughs> I was trying to do something different, and it didn't pay off. So the next kit is our final promoted team, the third team, Nottingham Forest. Welcome back to the Premier League for us. Perfect league for you and perfect kit for you. I know they've released their kit with a lot of these teams. Brighton are like the only team who haven't released a home kit or a away kit or third kit or whatever kit. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really nice kit. The mar It's called a marble effect. I think this was the same one as the Liverpool. Well, it's similar to the Liverpool one. I didn't, I cut it off at the sleeves because I think it was just a bit, uh, it didn't look right. But yeah, red, white, not in the forest. Southampton next, and they've released their kit. They've released their kit, which I don't like, but this one I do. I love the little kind of like pattern here, and then you've obviously got like the red kind of like dots in the middle, which I look, I think looks really nice. Imagine this kit if it had a better sponsor. It would look so good, but of course they have to do a betting company, which I hate. Um, but Southampton, I think they just about survived last season. Maybe they did it a bit more comfortably than I remember, but could be a possibility they go down not sure in my opinion this is, is one of the nicest kits i've done um imagine basuma rocking this yeah we don't talk about that but it's a really really classy uh kit with a nice little touch um i think i think that kit yeah it's that con that kind of like design is from the turkey 22 third kit um which you can do on this uh website it's called fifa kit creator you can get different kind of um you can get different patterns and from different kits and put them in other kits. It's a really good website. Um, I've got the premium. I've got the membership, which is about, I think it's like 20 quid a month. Uh, 20 quid a month, 20 quid a year, which isn't too bad. Um, it's, it's fun to mess about one and it's fun to make videos like this. Uh, but yeah, this one oozes a class. You've got gold, you've got the AIA. I probably would have changed the colour, but they do it in red. So I didn't really, really, yeah. I didn't really want to mess that up. But yeah, this is one of my favourite kits that I've done. I don't know if West Ham fans are going to shout at me for this one, the Irons, but I really do like this one. Again, don't like a better sponsor. Don't really like Umbro, to be honest with you. But a nice, not a full sash, maybe it's just like a, it's almost like it's just painted on and they've run out of paint or something like that. A um, little sash. Normally, West Ham do their very simple. Um, but yeah, I like. I wanted to, with the kit, I wanted to do something different with it. Maybe it doesn't pay off. Uh, let me know in the comments if they're on. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This I quite like this one, but I don't know what I, the other West Ham fans will think. So, Wolves next. This kit would be so good if it didn't have a sponsor. I couldn't even find the sponsor on this website because on the website because I couldn't read it. Like, imagine this kit if it had the Dorito sponsor, or I don't know, an iconic sponsor, or like one that's just not bunch of hashtags and loads of, well that's not really hashtags but you know like not a lot of um not a lot of like all this writing and rubbish it just, betting companies ruin sponsors uh betting companies ruin football kits i hate to break it to people but it just it just doesn't look right um in my humble opinion i'm very thankful we have got american express as our sponsor because it just it means children can get kits like the players you know like they can't sell these to kids with a sponsor on you know so it just doesn't look right kids might think oh it looks fake you know so it is very frustrating that and then that's my rant about betting sponsors over so that is going to be the video and i hope you did enjoy please let me know what you think about all these kits leave it in the comments um also i've got a different setup to usual my bed's been turned around my my desk is usually here but I've moved it here and now my bed's there. So let me know. I'm probably going to put something in the background instead of my amazing Brighton curtains. Um, but yeah, without further ado, well, without further ado, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, share it to your friends, and goodbye. Up the up,